hello out there welcome to this tutorial on histogram and frequency polygon so we start the first problem problem one use the frequency table below draw the histogram b frequency polygon of the distribution to draw a histogram we need the class boundaries of each of the class intervals so here we are going to create additional column for class boundary we call it cb to get the class boundary here we assume there is a number zero before one we are going to find the midpoint of zero and one to get the midpoint of zero and one we say zero plus one which gives one divide by two gives 0 0.5 so Therefore, the lower class boundary of the first class interval here will be 0 0.5. And to get the upper class boundary, we have 10 plus this 11 because we need to find the midpoint of 10 and 11. So to do that, we add 10 plus 11, which gives 21, divide by 2 gives 10.5 so the upper class boundary here will be 10.5 so this 10.5 will automatically be the lower class boundary of the class immediately after it which is going to give us 10.5 to get the upper class boundary of that class 20 plus 21 gives 41 divided by 2 gives 21.5 that is the midpoint of 20 and 21 which forms the upper class boundary of the class interval 11 to 20 this upper class boundary here becomes automatically the lower class boundary of the class immediately after it and to get the upper class boundary for that class interval we said 30 plus 31 divide by 2 which gives 30.5 so so the class boundary there is 20.5 to 30.5 and the, the next class interval the 30.5 automatically becomes the lower class boundary of the next class interval and to get the upper class interval for that class 40 plus 41 gives 81 81 divided by 2 gives 40.5 that automatically becomes the lower class boundary here to 50.5 so we are going to be using this frequency and the class boundary to draw the histogram of this distribution we get our graph here so getting our graph we have this as the class boundary and here is the frequency for the class boundary we are starting from 0 0.5 to 10.5 10.5 .5, 10.5 to 20.5 to 30.5 40.5 and 50.5 for the frequency we start with 0 here 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 and 9 so we have the highest frequency of 9 there um, between 0 0.5 to 10.5 is 2 the frequency is 2 so from 0 0.5 to 10.5 we have the frequency to be 2 so the height of the bar is the frequency why the width is the class boundary and again from 10.5 to 20.5 it is end to end bar so we have it the frequency to be 3 so it goes until we get to frequency 3 which gives the height of the bar and um, for 20.5 to 30.5 again from 20.5 to 30.5 the frequency is 6 so the height of the bar will be 6 so we have that then for 30.5 to 40.5 
the frequency is 9 so the height of the bar will be 9 it stops here and finally for 40.5 to 50.5 so the height is 4 so we have it as 4 here so we have succeeded in drawing the histogram of this distribution in our previous video on histogram after drawing the histogram we estimated the mode from the histogram to get the mood we look at the tallest bar and uh, from this angle here where it touches the bar before it we draw a line to the opposite vertex so we have it and for where it touches the bar after it we draw another line to join the opposite vertex so we have it then we now look at their point of intersection the point of intersection is this we read it down to the class boundary axis this is 30 every line here is one unit so this is 31.5 32.5 33.5 five, and 34.5 so the estimated mode is 34.5 as read from the histogram we now go ahead to draw the frequency polygon of this distribution so we do away with this now to draw the frequency polygon if you already have an existing histogram of the same distribution what you do is we get the midway of the height of the bars then join them together for the first bar here um, this is the midpoint so we locate the midpoint the second bar this is the midpoint the third bar the midpoint the midpoint and the midpoint here it is our tradition to create an arbitrary midpoint before and uh, after the distribution since the scale we are using here is two centimeters to 10 units so if you are looking for the midpoint before the class interval it falls here and after is one centimeters it falls there so we now joined these midpoints with straight lines our assumption here is this is zero this has frequency zero and this has frequency zero by default since they do not exist so we assign zero to them we now join them this is joined 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 to the point here so we join and finally we join to the end so this is the frequency polygon together with the histogram assuming the histogram is not there would have gotten something like this we would have gotten something like this but since the histogram is there we have it together with the histogram and that is the end of solution to problem one we go to problem two from here for problem two the ages of 50 people in a hamlet are given in the table below draw the frequency polygon of the distribution so here we are drawing only the frequency polygon so we are going to learn how to get this by default the frequency polygon is the mid value on the horizontal axis and the frequency on the vertical axis so we are going to create additional column to this table to give us the class mid value so the class mid value will be adding the lower class interval to the upper class interval and divide your sum by two to get the mid value for each of the class intervals we then start from the first class interval 11 plus 15 gives 26 divided by 2 gives 13 and uh, 16 plus 20 divided by 2 gives uh, 18 
21 plus 25 divided by 2 gives 23. 26 plus 30 divided by 2 gives 28. 31 plus 35 divided by 2 gives 33. 36 plus 40 divided by 2 gives 38. And finally, 41 plus 45 divided by 2 gives uh, 43. These are the class mid value for the class intervals. So we are going to be drawing the frequency polygon using the class mid value on the horizontal axis and the frequencies on the vertical axis. So we bring in our graph. So from the graph, this is the class mid value and this is the frequency for the class mid value we are starting from 13 18 23 28 33 38 and 43 and here we have it as 0 and 11 since the highest frequency is 11 so we stopped at 11 so we now create an arbitrary mid value before the class interval and after the class interval so that the frequency polygon can be joined together and uh, those class mid value will be assigned zero so if you look at this now this is a sequence of addition of 555 five, five. so if you subtract 5 from 13 that will give us 8 so the mid value before 13 is 8 and if we add 43 to 5 we give us 48 which gives the mid value of the arbitrary class interval after the last class interval now we start with this this is zero we assign it zero for 13 the frequency is six so we have the point here for 18 the frequency is eight so we have the point here and for 23 the frequency is 10 the frequency is 10 here for 28 28 the frequency is 11 so we have it as 11 here 33 the frequency is 6 33 frequency 6 this is the point here 38 the frequency is 5 so we have 5 here 43 the frequency is 4 and the arbitrary mid value after the last class boundary has the frequency to be zero so we have it like this we join these points together with straight lines so from here we have this this from here to this from here to this then down 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 and down this is the frequency polygon for this uh, distribution and uh, that is the end of solution to problem two this is the highest we can take in this tutorial. Remember to check the description section of this video on our YouTube channel Uninab Resources to get the link to our previous video on histogram and other related videos on cumulative frequency curve, that's OGIV, and other statistical topics. Please also remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel like and share this video until we come your way again goodbye